The next stitch I want to go through with you is called a raised close herringbone stitch and I've used it here on these little labels that I made and it's a relatively straightforward stitch to do and again works well with little leaves. So I've drawn some random leaves on my uh, wheel here. You don't have to outline the leaves um, like you did with the fly stitch. Come up this time at the base of the leaf, I'm doing this one here, and take your thread about a third of the way up, imagine a centre vein, and pull it through. And then come up to just immediately left of the tip, not very much. And then thread your needle, weave your needle through that stitch from right to left and then go down on the right just next to that stitch and come up with your needle on the left and then we're going to weave through from right to left and then go down on the right up on the left and take the needle through down on the right, up on the left, and take the needle through that stitch. Down on the right, up on the left, and weave through that bottom stitch. So you're working down the line that you've drawn as a guide all the time. You can work that stitch all in one action like that if you wish, but sometimes it can be more accurate if you do it as a stab action. So once you get down to the bottom and you've filled that stitch that you're going through with the thread you can just finish it off just there on the right, like that. Okay, so let's do that again. Let's try this one. Take a stitch about a third up. Come up to just the left of the tip and then weave through. And go down on the right. Come up on the left. and weave through. Down on the right, up on the left, and through again. So it's quite quick to work this stitch. And again, it works well with these little leaves. I will show left-handers as well. Um, you can probably guess that you're going to go just up on the opposite side, but I'll show you anyway. So through, always through from right to left if you're right-handed. That'll do. And then finish it off just there. So if you're left-handed, you want to come up at the base again and go down about a third of the way and then come up at the tip, this time about just to the right of the tip and then you're going to go through from left to right and then take a stitch to the left, take a stitch to the right and go through that stitch at the bottom from left to right. 
Okay, so I'm going to complete that um, now and do the rest of the uh, leaves and then come back and show you another stitch. I think raised fishbone. Mm -hmm. 